So a few days back I made a video covering the fact I believe somewhere within the Cyberpunk 2077 campaign story we will play as Johnny Silverhand. Today I bring you what could be even more evidence to back this claim up. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and also stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how you can win a copy of this game. So within the latest trailers for Cyberpunk 2077, mainly the 2077 in style trailer we saw, some interesting snippets which led me to believe and many to believe in fact that somewhere within the campaign for this game we might actually play as Johnny Silverhand. Now obviously I don't mean in the sense of using him within the current year of 2077, I mean in the sense as I believe we might experience a brain dance recording of his which allows us to live the life of the rocker boy and maybe experience what went down within his life and maybe use this brain dance for further details or clues as part of a quest or story within the campaign story for Cyberpunk. Now exact details on the story campaign haven't been laid out to us yet nor set in stone as of right now which is public knowledge but we do know that a certain part of it is recovering or retrieving a chip which allows immortality. A chip like this could be seriously interesting if you think about what it is as I can see things as such playing important roles deep into the storyline of the game. But anyway, we know that Johnny Silverhand is literally a main man, a main character behind this game in a major sense. We know Johnny's backstory for the most part, the ex-military rocker boy. We know what happened between him and the Arizaka Corp involving his girlfriend, Oat, who was taken by the Arizaka Corp for her experience with that computer knowledge. We know Johnny and his band of brothers set out to get revenge and get her back. We know he finds her lifeless body. We also know her digital self was put onto the Arizaka like a mainframe. We know Johnny before Militech wiped the mainframes gets Alt's digital body out of that mainframe and onto the net. Police also said that Johnny died at the hands of Adam Smasher. No body was ever found though and it's believed by some that he might actually be alive somewhere. And like within the year 2077 it's a very apparent as you see where's Johnny Graffiti all over the place. Some people actually do think he's still alive. But yeah, Johnny hasn't been seen in many many years since that nuke or that strike which took out the Arizaka building and a lot of Night City. But interesting people and why I feel we experience his brain dance recordings because of a few snippets from these trailers I was speaking about earlier. We first see literally a few milliseconds of what looks to be Johnny Silverhand opening a few doors into what could be a club. Within the same trailer we see Johnny from a first person perspective on stage performing for his fans. We then see him I believe within this club within the bathroom gripping up some dude. This is apparent as we see Johnny's reflection in that mirror. And there's actually something within the deep lore of uh, brain dances at the early stages of it where seeing yourself or seeing a reflection in the mirror was kind of harsh in many ways. But hey that's a different story for a different video. But yeah we see Johnny's reflection in this mirror so it's very apparent whatever's happening here from this first person perspective it seems we are experiencing it in game I mean why else would it be in a first person perspective this like I said leaves me a minute to believe within this campaign somewhere we get to experience a little of his life now what part of this story this ties into I don't know we know Johnny is our digital ghost and is said to somewhat be our guide but is there something more to this I believe there might be and I believe it has something to do with his girlfriend or Cunningham who is said to be somewhere within that net like I said behind that black wall. Can something be tied to this chip of immortality and her? I mean I don't exactly know and I would be guessing right now. Now the other thing I found within this trailer and it's very very interesting is this snippet which shows what seems to be a nuclear strike going off in the background or a strike that's already gone off. And whoever this person is we're seeing within that first person perspective is getting a beat down. I believe once again this is somewhere within that Johnny Silverhand brain dance recording. But what actually are we seeing here? If this is Johnny and Johnny can see that nuclear strike going off in the background then it might seem as though Johnny wasn't a part of that rubble which was believed to have consumed his body. Did he escape it somehow? Was he captured by the Arazaka? And it's why we are seeing him getting roughed up here. I mean this leaves us with many many questions. And well if this is Johnny's brain dance, maybe just maybe there is much more to learn about the rocker boy. 
I mean, could this be within the Arazaka building before it's taken down? And what we are seeing here in the background is destruction elsewhere. Because to me, whatever this is, it's definitely something live and it isn't a picture. This is seen by that slight movement of smoke on the other side of that glass. I mean, it's such a snippy within the trailer. It's literally about, half, it's not even half a second, it's a millisecond. So I had to slow this right down to get a good look at it. And because frames are moving so slow, it's hard to see anything moving in the background. But you can slightly see that smoke actually is moving. But yeah, this could mean a million things. I could be jumping to conclusions. But the question remains, is Johnny actually dead? Is this a brain dance where we experience part of his life? Just what is this? Let me know what you think down below in that comments section, what I think is somewhere within that cyberpunk storyline, we get to experience a Johnny Silverhand brain dance. Because we know he plays a massive role within this game, like I said, he's a digital ghost. We see him within many snippets of the trailers also. And I think whatever he is insinuating us to do, I think it has something to do with this, Alt Cunningham, Arazaka and much much more. I just think this story is going to go deeper than what many people believe it to be. But yeah guys, let me know what you think about this down below in that comments section. I'm just super hyped for this game. I mean my brain's taking me all over the place after reading all the lore about all the characters and so much more. I mean it's just crazy what could be happening here people. But yeah guys, the end of the video is coming. But before we go, let me tell you about my giveaway. So I'm giving away copies of this game on all platforms. To be in with a chance of winning one, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you're subbed. The more of my videos you support Cyberpunk Wise, the more of a chance you have of winning this game. I will announce winners a week before this game is released, so just in case you do not win, you'll have time to pre-order it for yourself. But yeah guys, let me know what you think about the video down below, I hope you enjoyed it, drop a like if you do, subscribe for more Cyberpunk, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.